Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So here we are at the trade deadline. It's been a pretty good season, not really as good as last one, which is kind of curious considering I'd say we made the team quite good, but there has been some talk from you guys that it might be the coaching staff at this point. And yeah, maybe it's time for a different look. We've had trip generalists for a while. Associate and assistant coach could be better. We don't have all the A's and stuff. They've been pretty good for teaching and things like that. But yeah, perhaps in the offseason, we'll look to shake up the coaching staff a little bit. We've gone forward defenseman generalist in the AHL. I think our goalie coach got slightly better. We have a pretty decent goalie coach, which is nice. Who, for some reason, is a physical coach. We have good staff chemistry as well. So, yeah. I'm not too sure if that's the answer, but it might be worth exploring. When it comes to this deadline here, this is, yeah, this is what, I don't know if a move is necessary. You know, I, it's, you look at all the individuals and all the lines, everything seems to be working. Like they're all, you know, plus type players, defensive core looks good. It's playing good. It's a, you know, little bit curious. You could argue goaltending might be the slight issue. Dostal's stats have been sort of declining, whereas McGratton, his has have declined too, but overall he's been better. So my thoughts here is not really making a deadline move. And instead... You know, just kind of rolling through, manually rotating the goalies until the playoffs. And that's that's kind of my thought right here. One thing that someone also suggested as a slight line change of swapping Varlam, uh, Shirakov and Darling. Because Darling shoots a crap ton, which is not a horrible idea, honestly. Considering Thomas and Kairou are more on the pure playmaking side of it, Shirakov weirdly doesn't shoot as much as Darling has. It's a definite idea. And I'm curious to know if I should kind of pull the trigger on that. So he ended last season with 305 shots. This season could end with similar, which which is it's good. And I kind of wonder if that would hurt him. It's w weird. Like, what? Darling took less shots last year. He had more shots the year before. And then this year is the one he's taking the most shots, which is... They have the same amount of shots, right? No, they don't. Never mind. Sorry. Darling has more. That's my... Yeah. I could try it. I could indeed try it. It's eight goals in the power play. Darling has five. Uh, the chemistries are the same. And yeah, they both have the same. Looks like they have pretty much the same. Uh, God, what am I trying to say? What they want with the uh, the player preference? Dump, balance, energy block, balance, shoot, energy. Okay, no, not the same. It's just they have the same, uh, basically the same chemistries throughout the lines, which is why it was, Darlings are a bit higher in this system. Hmm. Yeah, man. Like, I could try it to see if Darling's going to score at a higher rate. And our offense, yeah. I only worry that uh, having Varlamov and Shirakov on the same line might be a slight detriment. I don't, I didn't want to have to do that long term. Uh, did Cairo always have the gold tornado? <laughs> Maybe he did. Um. 
Yeah, I, I get, you know what, we can try it. We can try it for the tail end of the season. And, another thing we're going to do is uh, manually rotate the goalies here. I think it's in rules. And since I'm here, I'll try to remember to turn that back on. I'll show you guys the sliders as well. So you can see, it hasn't been reset. Still what I have it at. <laughs> Season later, whatever. Um, yeah, I, again, I don't think we really make a move here at the deadline. It, it, I just don't feel like we have a tremendous, tremendous need. And we have max picks already. We don't have any in the first two rounds, but, you know, we moved those to get quite a large return. I could take a look at just if there's anything I want to move, but I'm sure there's some stuff here or there, but I would rather make hockey trades with them, honestly. That's kind of the direction I think I want to more take here with, with some of the value. Yeah, that's kind of more the direction I'd want to go. Or if I'm trading up for something specific, but yeah. I don't think we're making a deadline move, essentially. So we're going to turn off the rotations. We're going to just plow through this deadline. I'm going to manually rotate the goalies. We're going to give McGrath in this game. Misa did extend. We win 2-1. to one. That's a big, big game for McGratton right there. I'm not going to play him back-to-back. -back. That's quite obvious. The menu lag is going to kill me on these rotations, but it is what it is. We'll give Doshtal this game against Vegas. Yep, yep, yep. Keep the current trade block. We're going to continue simming. Goodness. Uh, we won that game, too. But I'm going right back to McGratton. We're trying to give him a few extra games. Because he has been the better goaltender throughout the course of the season. I'll probably still go to Doshdal first in the playoffs. Just, you know, based on age and whatnot. Okay, so no major trades, I don't think. At least none that popped up. Against LA here, McGratton in nets. We lose. We get a point. That is not a great game. I'll give him another one. Hopefully he can bounce back. Nope. Okay. This does not look like it's working. <laughs> God damn it. Two horrific losses right there. They both have the same amount of goals now. Very interesting. All right, back to Doshtal. His save percentage is now below a 910. Good God. Maybe I should just turn him back on. Let's see how uh, Doshtal does in this game against Nashville. Oh, boy. We have an unfortunate streak right here. All right, at least we picked up a win right there for McGrath, and we'll give him another one here against Vegas. We need a win. We need him to play well. Oh, boy. Going to give him another one because we got a back-to-back -back coming up. Jesus. We'll let Auto Scout keep going. I don't know, man. I should just go back to... I, I feel like I try to make it good. I try to, like, okay, let's give him some extra games, and then, like, I just make it worse. Oh. Doshtal. We are not having a good time here. You need to win. Now we can't, like, score. I feel like this, this change... Well, it makes sense in some ways. 38 goals. <laughs> they both have 38 goals. God damn, man. Ugh. Should I mess with the defense? Get a DFD on the top pair. Him and Dickinson are crushing it. 
But this first pair is actually kind of getting exposed right now. Let's go this. Let's go Santavati and then Wierenski. We get a plus five, plus five. If this top four doesn't shut things down, like now, like what the hell? Like <laughs> really? I'll keep up the manual rotation for this. Like <sighs> 39 games played, 36. We have Doshdal in right now, who just lost, I believe. I don't even know who played. <laughs> I'm completely forgetting. I think it was Doshdal. Come on, man. Good. Well, McGratton's injured, so we're going back to uh, rota uh, auto rotate, and yeah, uh, we're gonna call it Leanders, and we're gonna go back to auto rotate. So there you go. My decisions has been made since McGratton's now injured. Leanders, in you go. And let me go back. Oh, yeah, I've got to throw in whoever the hell it gives us. Some 59. All right, we're going to go back to auto-rotate even when McGratton comes back. And then I'll, I'll probably have to turn it off for the playoffs. I don't want it auto-rotating. I want to choose. God, that's annoying. Very, very annoying. Well, auto-rotate's back on, so we can just finish off the season at this point. I'll leave the lines for... I can't. I can't. I can't. We're we're losing. We're losing with these lines, dude. I'm sorry. Like it, it, it I, I know the goals might be coming better for Darling, but we're we're just straight up losing with these lines. Well, I feel like our goal scoring got worse, honestly, with those lines. Just in general. Like look at that. Look at those last four games. Just horrid. Four game losing streak. And we've lost a lot more than we won here. We are in danger of falling out of the playoffs. We are absolutely in danger of falling out of the playoffs if we keep this up. Wild have like two, yeah, you know, we have to fall behind. But we're, we're in danger of missing out on the playoffs. So auto-rotate, switch those lines back. Try that new top four. I'll go give it a couple more games here. I'll stop it if it's awful. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I think I'll be able to find him. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, at least we responded with two wins, so we're hanging in there, but this is... <sighs> Where the hell is our shutdown? We'll go two more games here. Gotta remember where the hell this guy will go. I think right here, because Robinson would have been sitting. Indeed. Oh my god. Dude, we have no shutdown. We have no shutdown. Our goaltenders have gotten significantly worse throughout the course of the season. That's a good shutdown game. But... Mm. It ain't working, dude. These are winnable games. These are fucking winnable games and we're choking. Misa has a minor injury right now. 42 goals. They <laughs> just even goals no matter where they play. But clearly, maybe this wasn't... I don't think that's the move right there. It seems like our defense got worse, which is fucking hilarious. I'm gonna go back to this. <sighs> we are in the last wild card spot. We have not secured a playoff berth. We can fall out. Which is insane, dude. Thank God we won that game. Needed that. And now, yeah, okay, we leapfrogged the wild. Thankfully, we get a bit of a buffer. Jets lost, so we should be safe. Yeah, the Western Co or the uh, Pacific Division sucks, but this was not the end of the season that we wanted to see. Get some wins, man. Thank you. Uh, McGratton's back, so we can at least get our team back in order. Leanders, how'd you do here? 
two games played, no wins, but <laughs> it probably came in relief or what? Oh my god. <sighs> Both goaltenders absolutely shit the bed at the end of the season. Besides Leanders, he <laughs> just comes in and actually does good. But sorry, buddy. Back to the A with you. I feel like good goaltending coaches just don't matter, which is stupid. Lost that game, we won that game. Cannot keep the puck out of the net all of a sudden. Just, yeah, we're on playing the avalanche on the road now, good luck. <sighs> that was not a good end of the season. 44, 32, and 6. Disappointment of a season. Sorry. Goals for kept going down. Goals against kept going up. We are nowhere close to where we need to be. Nowhere close. We dropped way down. We're barely in the top 10, I think. Maybe just out. But goals against is going to be... Nah. That, that's not okay. That is not okay. That drop from where we just fucking were, we were still in the top five. We dropped all the way down to there. Power play was atrocious. Power play was atrocious. Penalty kill was atrocious. What the fuck? What happened between this year and last? Literally, we got better. Unacceptable. Darling and Shirakov both end with 42 goals. Darling did shoot a lot more. But... Same, same, same goals, worse shooting percentage. So yeah, he shoots a lot. Maybe he just does, does better with a full season. But give me some more X-Factors. Barlamov, that's a steep drop-off. 53 points only for him. Didn't even hit 30 goals. Hmm. Not enough from the depth. 52 points for Wrensky and Tucker. Sorry. McCabe and Saprikin then end a minus. Wrensky's only plus two. <laughs> I'm going to still start with Doshtal because he's earned it. Not so much this season. I'm just talking about his complete body work. And I, I worry about throwing in a 23-year-old in the playoffs. But he'll have a relatively short leash. Well, this is bad. Nothing outstanding from the AHL. This is a horrid end of the season. We're going into the playoffs cold. Bedard leads the way in points, 123. McDavid in second, lol. Goal loiter, yeah, Bedard with 61. Assist leader, 74 for Natchez. Mises up there with 63. Um, Norris is going to be the most clutch. 9 and 27, 1 for 3. Pasternak led the way in power play goals of 23. And power play points. Cousins led the way in shorties. Oops. Ah! Fucking menu lag, man. And yeah, had the most shorty points. I am so, like, just salty about how this season ended. I don't even know. I'm just... Ugh. Uh, Bedard might have a shout. I... Hate scrolling. All right, we'll see who the Selkie. Okay, there you go. Yonala. Holy shit. Is that that two way guy? No, he's a power forward. Now high elite. Was he always a high elite? Anyway, I'm moving on because I can't bear the menu lag. Quinn Hughes will win the Norris based on plus minus. <laughs> if only. Do that in real life, bud. Uh, goaltenders. Definitely not going to be either of our two guys up there. Ah, <sighs> yes, bro. Must be nice. Hey, look, elite goalies are performing like elite goalies at least. Well, at least this year. That's close between Kachetkov and Wallstadt. Who knows who's going to get the hardware. <clears throat> and the rookies. 
Kondratiev with 56 points. Quincy, you have to do better. I don't care if you don't have power play time. That third line just didn't... Didn't do it for me. <sighs> and rookie goaltenders. There's Dag. Actually didn't turn out to be that great. We missed out on him. He's not looking so hot, growth-wise. McGratton's essentially the same. Actually better. Uh, Alright, two people hit 200. McTavish and Kennens. Fight-wise, Volshenkov two-way. Probably a two-way, yep. Arbor Jackai. Alright. Cool. We have the playoffs to worry about now. And yes, I say worry because I do not have a lot of confidence in us after what how we ended that season. You can see the matchups here in both the East and the West. Good luck, Toronto. But this is a video game. They'll probably win. Oof. This is a good team we're going up against. We know that. Will we be able to actually shut things down? Who the hell knows? Because what makes a good shutdown team? Clearly, it's not high 80s defensemen. With great defensive stats, you gotta get those fucking plugs. Colorado! Middle stat, McKinnon, Rantanen, Landeskog, uh, Lazat, and Achu Oh, they have no depth. Our depth kicks their ass, which means their depth is gonna kick our ass in the sim. Defensively, again, no depth, but it won't matter. No goaltenders, it won't matter. They're gonna kick our ass if, uh, if they choose to. If the game wills it, they will kick our ass. But you compare them to us, we look we look better on paper, but pff, judging by how we performed going into the playoffs, I don't have a lot of hope. We know we got some flexibility. We know we can bounce some things around. And we may. We indeed may. Yep. We got a lot of options we can do with line changes and whatnot. Uh, do I have to, I might have to turn off rotate. I don't think I will, but I should just to make sure I get to play who I want to play. It's probably the best bet. So let's turn off rotations just cause I don't want them. I don't want the game deciding who's in that. We're going to start with Dostal. As I said, he has a nine seventeen in the playoffs last year. He deserves the start. McGratton is still unproven. Who? <sighs> Let's see what the heck's going to happen here against Colorado. Game one on the road in the Pepsi, uh, no, ball arena or whatever. Stupid. Pepsi Center. We win 4-2. Dostal did his job. Our offense did their job. It's a big, important win to guarantee the split on the road. Can we embarrass them, though? That's the question. Game two. We win in overtime. Okay. Okay, we get home ice now after two big wins on the road. And Dostal has done great. Tough loss right there, losing 4-3. But you weren't going to keep him off the score sheet that long. Do not lose two in a row. Ugh. Dickinson goes down with injury till May. That is a while. That's a tough one. We got to throw other Tucker in, but as he's a DFD, him playing with Santavari does not make sense. We're going to... There's no way that's a minus three. It might be a minus something, but it ain't a minus three. It's a minus nothing. We're going to move McCabe up to play with Santavari. We lost that game 4-3 as well. There we did it. We did it. We blew it. Why is this showing a plus four now all of a sudden? Oh, Kairu gained another X Factor? Yep, gain, make it snappy. Alright, so we'll play worse now because he got better. Four goals, three goals, 
Only two assists, three assists. Bolduke, no points, divorce. Oh, come on. You guys fucking kidding me? Told you. Told you our depth would suck. Mm. It ain't Doshdal's fault. He's got the save percentage, man. Look at him. It ain't his fault. Oh, boy. Are we going to fall apart right now? They're close games, at least. That's what the only thing going for us, but... All right, good. 8-4 win. We have a 3-2 series lead, but we have to win on home ice, <laughs> which no team has done so far. Can we be the team to win on home ice in Game 6, or will Game 7 be forced? Martin's back for the A... So he'll slot back in on that third line. Thanks. We won in overtime. We get by it round one. It wasn't pretty, but we did it. It was probably the most, the weirdest friggin' <laughs> playoff round that you'll ever see. Only, well, no, we finally won on home ice, but up to that point, it was all road wins for both teams, which is insane. We got Chicago up next to dispatch their opponents in five. At least we made it by, but I, I'm just still not filled with confidence in this team. I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't have much confidence in them. Four, three, it's okay. I just don't like the D, and yeah, and here we go. Power play is going to be great. Penalty kills at least decent. Look at that. Look at that spread. We are taking way too many penalties. Way too many penalties, man. Chicago is lights out. They're, they're just lights out. <laughs> oh, God. That's a sick team in Chicago. Oops. I forgot to actually check the individual stats. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm terrified of Chicago. Eight points for Misa, seven for Thomas, six for Darling, six for Varlamov, six for Kairou, five for Shirikov, Bolduc three, Dvorsky three, Quincy three. I mean, oh god, now the fourth line's gonna suck. Cool. That's a lot of Pims, Wierenski. I guess he has slightly low discipline, but that's a hell of a lot of pims. That's a major or a fight and like five minors in six games? Are you fucking kidding me? That's atrocious. <laughs> it's absolutely atrocious. Dostal's kicking ass. Ugh. All right, Chicago, what do you got for us? I don't know, I can't explain it. I just, there's, there's, I don't have that feeling, you know? Like a confident feeling. Caden Lindstrom, Connor Bedard, Marty Natchez. It's a decent second line, and they have decent depth across the board. But they only have one X, one group of X-Factor dudes. Can we shut down that line? I might want to put the DFD up there. Yeah, yeah, everything's working for him. But see what I mean about defense, of course? Like... Doesn't seem to matter. Look, he has an 83 awareness, but he's still god tier. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. On the road, once again, we've done good on the road, but it's an entirely new series. We'll see if the trend continues or what the heck's going to happen here. Game one. We win 5-3. Dickinson is now back. I'm going to put him right back in there. We'll hold it for now since we won that game. I am still considering putting that DFD on the top uh, line just because you, you, you think they'd be matched up against Bedard most. And you got to get, <laughs> you want a DFD in there. We'll see though. Game two. 
We win 5-2. We're outscoring them right now, but... <sighs> okay. <laughs> we won both games on the road again, but that doesn't matter if we now lose both games on home ice. Game three. We shut them out. Okay. Game four. Can we just dispatch with them and be done? No, they win 4-3. The dreaded 4-3 loss. Okay, but we're back on our, the pressure, you know, our joyful road experience. So, uh, game five. Just finish them. There we go. Another shutout. Another shutout. And we are in the Western Conference Finals. Honestly, against all odds. I did not foresee this one bit. I thought we were first round bounces for sure. But okay. Came into the playoffs cold, but heated up. But now we got Vegas waiting for us. In the Western Conference Finals. Oh. <laughs> That's what happened. I was like, wait. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. Vegas. Let's see how we did after that series. Let's see what the team stats are looking like. Okay, first line kicked their ass. Wow. Uh, 391245 power play is still ridiculous. Penalty kill got better. I t didn't I tell you? It's like the opposite of what it is in the regular season. We had a mid power play in the regular season. We get to the playoffs, it's gangbusters. We had a horrible penalty kill in the regular season. Get to the playoffs, it's decent. <laughs> we are perfect on the road. Oh, God, make it make sense. Let's check the individual stats. We know Robert Thomas is doing his thing. I keep hearing people trade Thomas and Cairo. Fucking why? They're our best players. <laughs> Jesus. You guys got to stop looking at the age and be like, oh, you got to get rid of them. Fucking no. Don't you guys see this game? Don't you guys know how this game works? When guys are old, they kick ass. Look how many times we see 60 goals score 40-year-olds, man. Or like 100-point 40-year-olds. It happens constantly. 18 points for Thomas, 13 for Kairou. Two best players, two oldest guys. Two guys we built around, two guys we turned it around for. Misa with 12 points, Varlamov with 11, Shirakov with 11, Darling only has 7. Bolduc 6, Dvorsky 5, Quincy only has 4. Fourth line is... A weak spot. <laughs> Defensively, it's okay. It's not anything incredible. This is, though, Dostal heating up as the playoffs continue. Shat the bet at the end of the regular season, but is good when it matters. We got Vegas in front of us. Can we deal with the Vegas Golden Knights? Hurdle, Eichel, Novak. Bar of course they got Stamkos. <laughs> it's such a Vegas. Oh my god, Bar of Chef Stamkos. And Sagan! <laughs> Sagan too. Rasmussen, Vinak, Ryder, Richie, Formanton. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Theodore, Borg, and so, uh, Sederström. Volinder, Grizzlick, and that's not great. But it doesn't matter because Logan... Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, we have a real chance. We we have an unreal chance to make the Stanley Cup Finals right here. We dealt with the two hardest opponents, I feel like, already. But when it comes to the Sim Engine, none of that matters. We're on the road once again. Road ice advantage, baby. The Blues are forcing me to believe. And now that I'm believing... Uh-oh. This is where the trouble starts. Game one on the road. We win 4-2. Holy shit. Game 2 on the road. We win 5-1. Holy shit. On home ice now with a 2-0 series lead. Game 3. We lose 6-1. We get blown out 6-1. I should say game 4. 
We answer back with an overtime win in a kind of shootout round right there. Crazy back and forth action, but we have the 3-1 series lead. And we have road ice advantage for game five. Blues, do it. <laughs> and game five, six to three. And have advanced to the Stanley Cup finals. Oh, what the... Ah! I, it doesn't make sense. Nothing matters. <laughs> Why do we do this? Holy fucking shit. We're in the Stanley Cup Finals. Okay. 4.0269. Nice. Third and power play is still amazing. And... <laughs> Just never, ever going to pay attention to the regular season stats again. Still perfect on the road. That's fucking crazy. But we are facing the Carolina Hurricanes, who, oh my god, are a beast defensively. Sick power play. Oh, man. This is a brick wall. This is a brick wall team we're going up against. They've only lost twice in these Stanley Cup playoffs so far. This is a brick wall. Thomas has 22 points. Varlamov next with 17. Then it's Kyra with 17. Misa with 17. Shirakov 15. Darling 14. Shirakov with 10 goals. So does Varlamov, dude. He's a player performer. That's why he's got an A. Also because he's listed as a leader. But there you go. Bolduk has 11 points. Okay, they've gotten going. Dvorsky with 9. Quincy has 8 now. Fourth line is still a train wreck, but who the hell cares? We're winning. Don't know what to make of it, but Dostal's still been doing good. Got to keep riding that hot hand, but again, this is a crazy tough team we are going up against. Everything about them just screams championship caliber. Including their lines. Gensel, Aho, Svechnikov, Seidenberry, Kotkaniemi, Zadina. Oh, man. Marchment, Forster, Gustin. Lost his X-Factor. Kuznetsov. Drew Rikunin, like this is, that, that's a filthy, filthy offensive core. And C, defense doesn't matter. Chikrin, Korzak, Slavin. Let's see, as long as they have like decent defensive stats, I almost feel like overall can be a detriment. Kachetkov has been unreal. All right. This is, uh... I mean, we are very, very similar in pretty much every way. Besides, we have the on-paper better defensive core. That rarely matters because, you know, their goaltender's playing lights out. But we got road ice advantage once again. <sighs> will they end the streak? If any team will do it, it'll be this team. Game one. They will not end the streak. We pull off a 3-2 win. Oh, my God. Game two. Oh, finally, it's over. A 5-2 loss. The series is split. One game apiece, and we head on to home ice. Now's the time we got to play well for our fans. You know they're going to be loud. It has been 11 years since the Blues have been in the Cup Finals, much less won it. Carolina. Oh, boy. Game three. Oh. Two losses. Man, oh man. Got to get a little bit more shut down. We're going to try what we were going to before, I think. Plus 13, plus four, minus one, plus one. I, I got to try it again. I got to put Santabori on the top. I just got to try it. I would sit Saprikin, but he's playing a pivotal role on the power play. <laughs> I honestly would sit him. I would go full shutdown. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly still considering it because we have other great, great defensemen or other just great players in general. He's only got four fucking points. How pivotal is it? 
Well, three of them are on the power play. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't sit them. Not yet. We're down two games to one. Home ice again. We can't lose two straight on home ice, boys. We got to answer back here. Game four. Ooh. A 3-2 overtime win in this series is knotted up at two games apiece. It's a best of three now on the road for game five. This is a pivotal point in the series. And we need this one. We lose 4-3. And yes, I just saw Springfield won the Calder Cup. <laughs> 25 Pims. Good God. Come on, game. Plus minuses for the offense aren't looking good. I'm going to swap to this. Just to kind of spread out... <sighs> Mm. Yeah, I'll try to spread out some of the love, essentially. Is this the answer? He does have that stick him up ability, but dude, he's a minus eight, man. Sorry. He's getting sat. Tucker's going into play with uh, McCabe here. I'm going to fix the power play really quick. Bolduke's there. We're going to put Quincy. Hell of a lot of shooters. But I'm going to throw in Quincy. Trust in the young guy. That's only still two shooters, technically. All right. Backs are up against the wall on home ice to force a game seven. Against the Carolina Hurricanes. Can we do it? No. We just weren't able to... Weren't able to keep them off the board. No matter what I did for the defense, they just scored and outscored us. So we lose in game six. <clears throat> we made it all the way. We tasted the possibility, yet we fell short. Tried to go just, you know, the full... Dude, Varlamov kicked us. Tried to go just like a full shutdown attempt, but it just wasn't enough. They were a good team. I have no issue losing to them. I have a slight issue with how their defense is constructed. But at the same time, that's that wasn't why we lost. We lost because we couldn't keep the puck out of the net. We were scoring. We just kept losing by one. Power play was amazing. Penalty kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think what kind of killed us at the end was our goals against. You can maybe even say goaltending, but Dostal did so good throughout the course of the entire playoffs, man. I can't I can't put the blame at his feet. We would have lost other ones if he hadn't been playing the way he was playing. Valmov had 24 points, 12 goals. Thomas had 24 points, 21 assists. Misa with 23. Darling, 22. Kairou, 22. Shurikov at 20. Like, we got the scoring. We got the scoring. We even had good depth scoring from the third line. Bolduc, Quincy, Dvorsky all had 10 points. Fourth line, yeah, was an issue. And Ott's not appearing now for whatever reason. This was not okay from Saprikin. That's why he got sat. I know he was picking up points. I know, you know, he was locking down that power play. But I think our that power play was good enough to survive without him. I just tried to put in more shutdown. Unfortunately, it did not work. And I'm not seeing Tucker's numbers here at all, so. Doshtal lost a lot of his save percentage in that series. But again, I, I'm not going to lay the blame at his feet. Plain and simply not going to do that. Because ending with a 9-12, that's still winnable for us. Like, if if you look at it as a whole, his save percentage wouldn't have been good in that series. But, again, look at the team we just faced. I'll give you another look at that team we just faced. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> well, 
Go back and look at that team we just faced. Again, I don't have a problem losing to them. That is a stacked fucking team. We're pretty stacked too, but we weren't able to get it done. They they got the wins when it mattered. It was close. And we we the team well overperformed my expectations. The only bad loss we had was this one. Right? One goal game, one goal game, overtime, one goal, one goal. It's just, mmm. Good teams find a way, you know? We made it competitive as hell. Six games. Only one game wasn't decided by one goal. Yeah. So, uh, proud of this team, despite not really believing them. And I don't know if you can blame me. <laughs> but, uh, proud of how they performed. And now I'm hesitant to even mix up the coaches, because it's like, god damn. Look what they did. But at the end of the day, it is a player, so I'll still consider it. Still look, at least to get better options. Maybe, I might stick with Trip Generalist. Just because I we need to roll four lines still, I feel like. I still might roll with Trip Generalist, but we might upgrade the other two. If I, if I can, which I should, well, well, now they're getting better after that. We'll see. We'll see what the heck happens. <laughs> they're just making it tough for me. All right. Well, that will wrap things up here. We're going to actually check the proc supports at the very end of the season. See if we got any like real growth. Quincy, we know he got a lot. It's Oh, it's putting guys up here. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. Uh, we'll get to the draft. We'll see what happens. Tough way for it to end, but you know what? Man, we were close. So hopefully, we'll be able to figure things out and come back even stronger next year. So I'll see you guys then.